I am Derek Red, a sport and rec major here at the University of Minnesota Crookston, and we are here with Chancellor Fred Wood. It's great Dr. to be here. Wood. Great to be here, Derek. Good. Dr. Wood, you have now been here for four years as the Chancellor of the University of Minnesota Crookston. Where have you seen the most growth here on campus during the time that you've been serving here? Well, it's been growth in all, almost every dimension you can imagine. We've had some great new facilities come up for us. We've had new majors, a lot of new academic programs that have been created. Growth in students, of course, driving a lot of that. And growth faculty and staff. So it's, it's just been a phenomenal three years of, of, of growth on so many dimensions. Okay. During the time that you've been here, you've had your hand in a multitude of different majors being added, yeah. such as elementary education, entrepreneurship, yeah. international business, yeah. along with many others. Yeah. How important is it to continue to add these new majors in order for the university to market itself for students seeking careers in those fields? I think it's critically important. I, I think that we've got to continue to move with the marketplace and help students get the majors they need to, in order to have the jobs and the careers that they aspire to. In addition to those that you mentioned, a couple more that we've had, a new English major has been a great addition to the programs. We've also added a new medical laboratory mm -hmm. science program that we uh, actually work with in conjunction with the University of North Dakota, our colleagues right up here in the Red River Valley. Uh, we've also added a, a new agricultural education major that's going to be quite popular for our students interested in ag. And then the exercise science and wellness oh, major, yeah. I think is going to be a great new addition for our student athletes. There's so much demand for uh, folks in those, in those fields. So we're, we're very excited and trying to stay with the marketplace, always be looking for better majors for our students and help them get careers uh, and get on to graduate school and professional school. We want to help them succeed. And that sounds good. The campus will soon have a brand new wellness center. We have already seen the addition of a new state-of-the-art dorm in Heritage Hall, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Very. And how important is it to continue to modernize the campus to appeal to all of the new students here at UMC? Well, I think you have to, you know. I think you're absolutely right. I think the residence halls are a good example of that. Heritage Hall, as you know, I think you'd agree, it's as good as any residence hall you yes, find in the is. country. Yes, it it's is. a beautiful <laughs> facility. And then the new wellness center, uh, you know, 30, 36,000 new square feet of recreational facility that all students can use. I think it would be great for our student athletes. Yeah. <laughs> great, great facility for them. And then we got lots of plans for additional uh, resources. We've got advances for our, our student athletic, athletics program. We've got advances in undergraduate research, new facilities for that. So a lot of growth. And I think it's important, again, to keep moving that forward, modernizing facilities, so that we're giving students those opportunities to succeed out there in, in the world. So we want you to be well Fed. We want you to have a good place to sleep, we want your classrooms to be excellent, your undergraduate research, your athletic facilities. That's part of the University of Minnesota and that's what, and that's what we're about here at UMC. Okay. And the athletic programs have seen recent successes including the women's basketball team and equestrian last year, that's right. women's volleyball two years ago. We also have several programs that are on the rise like baseball, men's basketball, Absolutely. <laughs> women's For soccer. Sure. What excites you most about our athletic programs as we continue to build? Well, Derek, you know, I, I absolutely, all the programs you mentioned, there's others that are doing well. So they're all setting records. They're getting better every year, you know, on the field of play. And, and of course, that's important, the competitive. We want to be excellent in those fronts. But I'm proud of, as well, as the way we're doing it. You know, we're doing it with great student athletes like you, Derek. We're doing it with great with great coaches like Coach Coach Weiss. We're doing it with a, a program that's about doing things with high integrity, doing it with great character doing it in a way that helps you develop as a person. At the end of the day, we're about building better people, and you're one of those people we want to build and, and help you succeed. And so I think that's what I'm also also proud of. I'm as equally proud of a win as I am a, a great grade on a test or a great graduate or getting student into a graduate or professional program. So I'm really proud of the, of the program here at the University of Minnesota and, and the way that we're doing it. Okay, well, thank you so much oh, for stopping my, by. My pleasure. It's my pleasure. I well, appreciate you, you, and we appreciate everything that you do for us. That's yeah, great to see you. I look forward to seeing you out there on the court, oh, yes. Derek. Thank you. I appreciate All it. Right. Take care. Yes.